Now, you're probably wondering what those hats are for. Um, you've heard of uh, search for extraterrestrial intelligence, haven't you? You haven't? You have? Has anyone been looking? Is anyone a member of SETI? Uh, SETI, Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence. Yes. Well, it's been going since 1953. And actually, it was Nikola Tesla that kicked the whole thing off when he claimed one day that he received signals, and he actually received um, messages from Mars through one of his electromagnetic um, contraptions that he'd invented. Um, and ever since then, people have been trying to interpret the signals coming from space and hoping and hoping to God that they can meet up and, and find uh, some extraterrestrial intelligence, something greater than our own that will come and save us and all that sort of stuff. Um, I'm actually a member of SETI, um, and so is uh, all the band. Uh, we've been working on it for quite some time now. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Um, and I actually found um, that my, uh, when, I, when I was researching SETI, I, uh, yes, that's, that, she's been doing that for a long time now. Uh, I actually found, um, in my research, I actually found their original prototypes for their acronyms. I thought I'd share with you. It took them quite a lot to get to SETI. Um, the, the first one that they actually came up with was SOFA, um, there, which was search for outlandishly feral aliens, but they thought that was just a little bit kind of aggressive. And so they tried COUCH, um, which was communication outreach to universal cosmic hierarchies. Um, they thought that was a little bit kind of cloying, really. <laughs> um, so they went for DEVAN, um, which was discovery of intergalactic Venusian alien nations. Um, they thought that perhaps was a bit presumptuous. Um, and then eventually they settled on lounge for a while, um, which was terribly comfortable, but it actually stood for Libertarian Organisation for Universal Nations Greeting Extraterrestrials, which is a terrible, terrible mouthful. Um, uh, they tried something a little bit left of field um, for a, a, a little while, um, which is intergalactics, Klingons, extraterrestrials and aliens. Um, but unfortunately, they wanted more of a community feel. They wanted more people to get involved together. And this one, you kind of had to do it all yourself. So um, they ditched it. They did, they did actually, um, we have actually received benefit from the Klingons and that they invented Velcro because of their particular attachment issues. But we've, we've managed to um, benefit from that. Um, I suppose most of you would have an Allen key in your homes. Has everyone got an Allen key? Or three or four or many? Yes. Yes. It's actually a corruption um, of alien key. And so I'd be very wary where you put your Allen key because <laughs> I think they're watching us. Um, anyway, we thought um, we would help the situation um, while we've got you all here and see if we could actually get something happening tonight. Um, it, it is, uh, I think it's nearly a full moon, so the, the, the conditions are ripe for, for communication. Um, so if you could all please put your uh, hats on your head. They're actually designed to help... Yes, gather the rays, the communication Focus. rays. Focus, mine. If you haven't got one, you might just have to share with somebody. Very nice, very nice. I think this is going to work. I think, I think it's, it's going, going to work, work too. I, think we're, I can feel the vibrations. Can you feel it already? Can you feel, can you feel a sense of uh, uh, an attunement, an attunement to the ether? You look fabulous, by the way. You do. It's like a whole flock of magical unicorns. So all you need to do is just listen, follow my lead. Follow my instructions. We will be performing the official anthem of World Contact Day. In your mind, you have capacities, you know, to transmit thought messages to the vast unknown. Please close your eyes and concentrate with every thought you think upon the recitation 
we're about to sing. Calling occupants of interplanetary craft. You know it. Calling occupants of interplanetary most extraordinary Calling occupants of interplanetary craft. Calling occupants of interplanetary craft. Calling occupants of interplanetary most extraordinary craft. We've been observing your Earth. They've been observing our Earth. your friends calling occupants of interplanetary craft calling occupants of interplanetary ultra emissaries we've been observing your earth and we'd like to make a contact your friends calling occupants of interplanetary ultra emissary and please come in peace we beseech you
What's that? This could be it. I might have something. Thank you, Winnie. Thank you. <laughs> Greetings. This is Earth speaking. Okay, right. Yes. Oh, all right. Okay. No problem, thank you. I will share that with everybody here. Yes. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. Um, right, well, that was actually the International Bureau of UFOlogy. Um, apparently, the domain name for World Contact Day has been on sale since 2013 online um, for $2,295.06 if anyone's interested in purchasing it. You can uh, purchase it in 95 installments of $23 each. <laughs> Are there any takers? Oh. oh, all right. Fine. Yes, she'll trade her camel in for that. <laughs> well, thank you for trying. That was a bit of an anticlimax. I'm sorry. Um, but don't give up. We've given you the cards. If you receive anything in the next while, um, just call that number um, and we'll see what happens next. I'm so excited. Well, I was excited. I'm a little bit deflated now, to be honest. Uh, anyway. Um,